I saw this randomly, right? Um, ba, 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 ba. I saw this. Look at this. This is courtesy of Fox News. A report on flipping Joe Rogan's new comedy club. This looks pretty cool, isn't it? Joe Rogan's new Rogan. So is Joe Rogan's comedy mothership good for comedy? Attendees weigh in. Right? Pretty cool little article here. Fox News covering Rogan. That's how you know Rogan's kind of crossed over into the dark realms. But yeah, let's see what the attendees that go into Rogan's comedy club courtesy of Fox you have to say about this. Austin, Texas. Ooh, it lights up LEDs. Is Joe Rogan's new anti woke? Why are they calling it anti woke? Because I guess is he is he anti woke? Does he even does Joe Rogan talk much about woke? Does Joe Rogan talk much about comedy cancel culture? Does he talk much about comedy? No way. I would have never guessed it. Oh, it's fantastic for comedy. Uh, most definitely. Oh, I think it's great for comedy. White yes, people, white people. I, know. I think white uh, people. if you like comedy and you don't take it too seriously, I think uh, wherever you have comedy, it, it's got to be a good thing. Yeah, I think it would be good to white get people. a new crowd for comedy. I mean, comedy's been up against the ropes. Hey, yo, Austin might be the whitest state I've seen in my entire life in America, isn't it? God damn it, man. Get some multiculturalism going on there. Get some juju jazz. Where do people go for flipping good Asian food in flipping Austin? Jesus, or does that even exist? <laughs> uh, you know, comedy was starting to, to hit that point of, you know, cancel culture really leaking in and having people be very, you know, skittish on what they're willing to talk about. And then, you know, adding the pandemic on top of that, right? Where Yo, this you is geeked. Yo, he is. I knew it. I've been out. I've been out too much in my life. I've done too many substances over my life to recognize when somebody's geeked this nigga is geeked he is absolutely geeked off of his eyeballs and you can see look at how big those flipping flipping eyeballs are <laughs> look at my guy yeah 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 comedy is completely strangled and there's nowhere to even perform um so this is this is perfect for comedy this is exactly the resurgence that comedy needs and frankly this place is going to be home base for comedy going forward this is going to be the new home for comedy in america not just here in austin i'm not gonna lie he got me kind of hyped i kind of want to go but people what's the what's the better place to go as a first time as a first timer will it be dallas or will it be austin what's the first as a first timer to go what's the no actually houston dallas or austin was it where, where where's the as a first time because i'd like to go to texas just to kind of see austin okay austin definitely def the austin austin okay everyone's saying austin i think that might be has to be on my list to go next okay people are saying not dallas dallas sucks okay cool awesome awesome dallas and houston are not walkable okay cool ah interesting so i need a car and i don't have a license obviously because i'm from the uk and i'm a loser so yeah, that's interesting. I I would need somewhere I can get around easily in the flipping in a walk you know, walking or in Ubers and shit. Austin, then San Antonio. Okay, nice. Thank you, E. All right, cool. I'm on it, man. I'm on it. I think the the, the Austin thing I'm gonna try and make happen this year. I don't know when, but I'm definitely gonna try and make it happen. So I can definitely go and see a show at the flipping comedy mothership and just see what the vibe is like, innit? Film a video of myself on Sixth Street. Is that Sixth Street place in Austin? It is, right? I think I asked this before. The one where everyone fights. Is that is that in Austin? I'd love to go there and see it for myself. Get into a little scrap. Huh? <laughs> get arrested, get a mug shot. Ah, that'd be so fun. <laughs> I can't wait. I feel like being in like an urban city like this and such a popular city that it will only do good. I think that uh, comedians, it's you know, moments of levity where people can kind of engage and, and, and realize we all have differences and there's nothing wrong with that. We can celebrate our differences and celebrate our different cultures and you know, not be uh, afraid to kind of joke about what, what makes everyone unique in that way. And I think that's positive and comedians shine a light on that and we should encourage that. And, and instead of the, what's happening right now, it's, it's diminishing that or trying to silence the silly. It can be offensive sometimes, like what he says. Some people can't take that, but at the same time, he's not targeting that crowd of people. There's so much uh, uh, darkness in the world. Um, have a bit of fun. You know, don't take it too seriously. Don't be offended by Oh, English guy. It sounds like an English guy has moved over to Austin. I, I, I can hear an English accent from a mile away. 
Lawrence. I'm most excited for the future. I think that's what my guy is geeked. Look at those flipping pupils. Look at this. My guy is geeked. This really is. This is just the opening week of something that's going to be a long standing staple, not just here in Austin, but in comedy as a whole. I mean, it, this is going to be right up there with the comedy cellar in New York in terms of iconic places for this art form. Uh, it's going to bring a lot of people to six. So, uh, my friends and I, we all work. Oh, some goth itches out there, hey? Eh? You know, Aggie loves a loves loves a loves a little goth itch. Hey, 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 hey. So goth itches, you know, I might have to roll down in Austin, eh? Hello, goth itch. I like Sepul Tora too. Yeah, I love Slipknot. I'm a big fan. You love a download festival. Oh. <laughs> on here so that's good news for us what i'm most excited for is to have a good time for not just a bar scenario not just a party scene but also just like a chill relaxed different kind of scene that austin doesn't really have yet i, I lived in new york los angeles for a long time and i think it's exciting to have a comedy club where you you, you might have surprise guests you know, some of these clubs in LA and New York, they're, they're known for comedians will come for you, preview new material. You can tell this guy's a real fan. He's a real comedy fan, real Rogan fan, because he's been all to all to the the hot, the hot, you know, the places for comedy like LA, New York. He's traveled around. He's gone to see people play. So, you know, this is pretty cool, man. This is pretty cool. Good little community people hanging out there. And they'll, they'll come unannounced. I'm hoping that Austin gets a little of that as well. Be nice to have. What? James Banks rooting for a gas leak. <laughs> Why are you so mean? You want to, you want them to have a gas leak at the comedy flipping mothership? How dare you say that, man? It's the home of comedy. The sanctuary for all anti-woke flipping comedians. It's a safe haven for them. No counterculture should pass through these doors. That's little Rogan's flipping house. How dare you say that, James Banks? <laughs> rooting for a gas leak <laughs> that's so mean holy shit have some big names come in and kind of surprise us from time to time and really bring you know a big comedy element to the central coast i guess it's kind of cool to have it here because i mean like i said it brings in a lot like different kinds of people but at the same time it could cause probably a lot of controversy like maybe people don't want it here so maybe it gives austin a bad rep but maybe it also brings in a good rep for austin from people who do like you up hey make your mind up maybe this maybe that why don't you make your mind up and make your point hey come on now lady make your bloody mind up stop sitting on the fence Joe Rogan. okay anyway she ended it but yeah cool <laughs> i'm down i'm i'm down man that sounds that sounds fun that looks like fun i'm on it like sonic austin vibes couple of goth itches to kind of show me around and whatnot couple of you know racks of barbecue couple of caucasian lads to show me how to flip in what's that what, what's that dance you guys call when you what, what's that flipping white salsa what's that american salsa called with your cowboys in line dancing right your little line dancing shit i'll take part in that eh? get me some cuban heels huh Drink me some Paps Blue, some Paps Blue Ribbon. Is that good beer or not? I'm not too sure, but I'm down, man. I'm definitely, I'm definitely, definitely, definitely want to come out there. Oh, what's that gonna do here? Uh, <laughs> what's that gonna do? Oh, uh, anyway, let's move on from that one.